We are going to talk snowboard terminology. We have Craig McMorris here, the best person to talk to this about, because Craig, sometimes you're talking and I don't know what you're saying. Well, to be honest with you, Jacqueline, I don't know what I'm saying half the time either. I'm just making it up on the fly. No, I'm kidding. We, uh, the way that you talk about or describe tricks sounds like a different language. I mean, if you didn't know snowboarding, you'd be like, that guy has demons in him and is speaking in tongues and we need to get rid of those demons. But I'm just saying, very, very universal language to people that snowboard. Because there are some words, like steezy. What does that mean? I have no idea. I never learned that one in school. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to learn it in school, but I think steezy, the best way to represent or to describe steezy is somebody that's relaxed, somebody that's got a lot of style. They're very steezy. How about yard sale? Yard sale. Okay, that's more in skiing than snowboarding, but what happens is you fall very violently, almost too violently and you lose product and what I mean my product maybe you lose your skis your pole sometimes uh, a yard sale on a snowboard is when you fall in your goggles and toque and mitts just fly into the air that's a yard sale what about taco taco that's a proper term so you see a rail right what yes. people snowboard on and what happens is if you fall on the rail and your board ends up on one side and your chest and head end up on the other you taco the rail so Very it's literal. like the Mexican delicacy on a rail Sending it versus stomping it. Sending it usually refers to going off the jump. You're sending it, you're going big, you're going fast, you're going way far down the landing. Stomping it is the actual fact of landing it. And we haven't even gotten into the numbers yet. There's the 1440s, the 720s, the 1080s. When you throw big numbers, what that is is just degrees of rotation. So if you think uh, back to geometry class, back in grade 11 or whatever, a 360 is one full rotation. I just did a 360. If I do two full 360s, that's a 720. So you're gonna see guys at the top level doing a triple cork 1440. They're spinning around four full times. And then one of the biggest ones, cork. Well, it means to go off kilter, go off axis. In between a flip and a flat spin, there's a cork. When you're working with guys from different countries, does terminology differ? Not really, it's kind of like math. It's a universal language. Snowboarding is a universal language. And it That's brings beautiful. us all together, Jacqueline. Well, we'll end it there. <laughs>